created, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Key Vaults. I'm going to click on Key Vault. And then over at Key Vault, I'm going to go to Access, Control I M, Add Role Assignment. And I'm just going to choose any one of these right here. I'll say Key Vault Administrator, which is fine. And I'll hit Members. And when I click on Manage Identity, I get to choose the Manage Identity. So what do I mean by that? So over here, it says All System Assign Manage Identities. So it'll populate, it'll let me know that the E3 VM, this one has a one that was assigned, we assigned earlier with the user managed identity. And this one right here is the uh, system assigned managed identity. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click select. And then I'll click review and assign. So if I click view access to this resource, You'll see here, it says the test VM for, right? Because that's when we just gave access to and we gave it the key vault administrator one. So that's good. But I wanna show you how system managed identities work. So if I come back here to my virtual machine and if I click on the virtual machine and I click delete, What happens is when I click delete on this one, that manage identity should be gone as well. Okay, so that's deleted. I'm gonna jump back over here on this tab. I'm gonna go to key vaults. Within key vaults, I'm gonna take a look and see how my access control I am. View accesses resource. And you see right now it says identity not found. And that's the great thing about the system managed identities is because you don't get orphan accounts. Now, let's say that, you know, uh, for on-prem and you use the user uh, account, or even if you use the user account for as a service account within this, if you went ahead and you deleted that resource or the application and you're no longer using it, that identity would still be there. If you look right here, the identity is not found. So that helps us out. So if I were to come back over here, I access and I click on add add role assignment and remember I gave it key administrator so I'm just going to do the same thing again and go to members manage identities and I select here and it says system assigned managed identities only one showing up right now and if I go to it it's only this east vm one that's showing up but what I could do is I'm going to come over here manage identities and I'm going to actually delete this one because I don't want it anymore I could go to the VM and I could remove it there as well. Now I'm saying, are you sure? And I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because this is to show you exactly how you go about deleting it. And now if I come over here and I come back out of it and I click select manage identities. Let's see, is it still showing up? It doesn't have anything to show up. It's still just waiting for it to populate. It's got to change and go through the whole cycle, but it didn't have anything to choose because we changed it. And if I go back to my virtual machine and I go to identity, you see user assigned. Well, this is still showing up for now. Yep, object not found, resource not found. So is this going to take Azure a little while to kind of clean that up? or I can either force it and just click remove. But either way, that managed identity isn't there, but this is what you have to go through or user assigned managed identity. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why you want to go with a system managed identity. Um, I hope that um, at the by the time the end of this video, that system managed identities and user assigned uh, managed identities uh, makes a little bit more sense to you and how valuable it is to use a system managed identity because it does the, the cleanup work. It helps you with hygiene. Uh, but there are certain times that you want to use the manage the user assigned manage identities if you want to use that manage identity for multiple resources. So that wraps up this video. I hope that the information I provided you was beneficial. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button here at Cloud Scholars. Uh, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.